As you may know, Google introduced Gemini 2.0, their new AI model for the agentic era. And in this video, I want to show you something really cool. So stay with me, click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Welcome back to Digital Toolcase. And uh, this is really an interesting video because I will show you what Gemini 2.0 is able to do and how it's able to help you in uh, some cases because now Gemini is able to hear what you say and so you can talk with it, he can talk with you, but it can also see whatever happens on your screen. So in order to use Gemini 2.0 for free, you need to go to aistudio.google.com and you will have this page or maybe this page with the create prompt area. You need to choose Gemini 2.0 flash experimental from this list. You also have some other parameters, but that's not important now. In order to use the feature I'm about to show you, you need to go here on this stream real time. Or maybe if your bar here is like this, you have this icon with stream real time with the microphone. Okay, as you can see here, multimodal live API with Gemini 2.0 start interacting real time using text, voice, video or screen sharing. This is really interesting. You can talk to Gemini, you can show Gemini or you can share your screen. And as you can see here in this prompt bar, you can write some text as always, or you can activate your microphone or even share your screen or select a video source. For the sake of this example, I will use Art Space AI, this AI images generator, because I want to show you how Gemini 2.0 can help you maybe learning or using some sites, some apps, or whatever you want. By the way, if you want to use Art Space AI, you still have this lifetime deal available, and the prices here are pretty good. You can obviously find the link in the description, but you can also click here above and watch for my review about uh, Artspace AI. So here again in uh, Google Gemini 2.0, I need to activate my microphone here. Can you hear me, Google? Yes, I can hear you. How can I help? Perfect. Now let me share my screen because I need your help. Okay. I understand. I'm ready when you are. So now I will click this button here and I choose screen. Now I can, right. okay, now I yeah. can choose uh, uh, this uh, window and uh, share it. Understood, you're sharing a window. Perfect, uh, now let's go here on this page. Uh, what you can see, Gemini? The shared screen shows the users on a website called artspace.ai. There is a large white rectangle that appears to be a canvas with options on the side to customize an image. Okay, can you watch for this uh, interface and uh, tell me what are the most important part I should use to generate AI images? Okay. I see the interface. The most important part for generating AI images seems to be the text box at the bottom that says, this what would one? you like to draw? You mean the, what would you like to draw? Text box at the bottom of the page? Okay, I see it. Great, is there anything else I can help you with on that page? Yes, for example, I have this model Nova 2024 here, but if I click, uh, what you can see? Okay, I see the model option with Nova 2024 Flux selected. When you click on it, a dropdown appears with other model choices. So, uh, which do you think is the latest model I can use? Based on the dropdown list, Nova 2024 Flux appears to be the latest model listed there. Okay, so I will use this one. Now, here I have this canvas. Uh, uh, let's generate an image together. So make for me a very good and detailed prompt. Uh, let's say I want to generate uh, a, an image, a realistic 
image of uh, a place, let's say uh, in, in the mountains, a lake, uh, some nature, but uh, enrich this prompt for me, please. Okay, I can help you with that. How about this? A realistic image of a serene mountain lake at sunrise, with a clear reflection on the water, and surrounded by a lush forest, with some wildlife, such as deer, visible. Does that sound good? Okay, it sounds good. I will copy this prompt uh, into my art space uh, here. That's right. Okay, I see the text has been pasted into the text box. Okay, so uh, how can I go on? Uh, I don't know what I have to click here. You will likely need to click the blue generate button in the bottom right corner of the interface to start generating your image. You mean this one? Yes, the circular blue button with the white arrow. Okay, so let's generate the image. What you can see now? Okay, I see a loading circle in the middle of the canvas, meaning the image is generating. That's perfect, let's wait. Okay, I will wait. And here is the image. What do you see in this image? I see a beautiful realistic image of a mountain lake at sunrise with a clear reflection on the water and a lush forest with deer. Okay, uh, what other little details you see? The mountains in the background have snow on top and the sky is a warm orange color due to the sunrise. The deer are positioned on the shore. Let me zoom the image. Do you see any animals here? Yes, I can see two deer on the shore of the lake. That's perfect. Okay, now let's generate a new image. You choose the topic of the image. Can you make for me a very good image prompt, a very intriguing one, where I can show my viewers here in this video the potential of AI images? Okay, so you would like an image prompt that is very good and intriguing and that shows your viewers the potential of AI images. Is that correct? That's perfect. Generate it for me, please. Okay, how about this prompt? A hyper-realistic close-up of a single dewdrop on a spider web in a lush forest with a clear reflection of a vibrant sunrise inside the dewdrop. Would that work for your viewers? Let's try. So I will copy and paste this prompt into art space here and now I will generate this image. Certainly. You have now copied and pasted the prompt, a hyper-realistic close-up of a single dewdrop on a spider web in a lush forest with a clear reflection of a vibrant sunrise into the art space AI image generator tool. You are now generating the image. And here it is. Can you see it? Yes. I can see the generated image now. It's a close-up of a dewdrop on a spider web with a sunrise reflection. It looks very realistic. I think you are very good in generating AI images prompt. Thank you. I'm glad I could help you with generating an AI image prompt. Do you have any other prompts you would like to try out? Well, generate for me a prompt uh, where a person is involved. Okay, how about this prompt? A young woman with long flowing hair walking through a vibrant lavender field at sunset with a whimsical and dreamy style. Interesting. Thing. I will try this one, so let me paste it here and let's try to generate even this one. This is the last one. Okay, you have now pasted the prompt, a young woman with long flowing hair walking through a vibrant lavender field at sunset with a whimsical and dreamy style into the art space AI image generator. You are now generating that image. Wow, what do you think of this young girl? The AI generated a very beautiful image of a young woman in a lavender field at sunset. Her hair is flowing, and she has a dreamy look. The overall style is whimsical, as the prompt requested. Okay, can you please tell me here on this uh, right side bar which options do I have and what they mean in your opinion? Certainly. The options on the right side bar are Boost Visual Vibrance, which enhances the colors and sharpness of your image. Smart Content Filter, which is a tool to improve the quality of the content. Negative Prompt, which helps to remove elements from the image, for example, blurry, watermark, text, or logo. Seed Number, which can randomize or provide a specific seed to generate the images. And Seed Image, which would let you use another image as the basis for a new generated one, but it's not available for the current model. Okay, I think that's it, Gemini. You have been really helpful and uh, thank you very much. You're very welcome. I'm glad I could help. If you need anything else in the future, don't hesitate to ask. Okay, so as you can see, this is how this new Gemini 2.0 works. Uh, that's pretty interesting. This was just an example. Uh, imagine you are not uh, sure of what you need to do 
in a tool like uh, ArtSpace, for example, but on everything online or even on your PC, now Gemini 2.0 is able to help you. And that's it. This is what I wanted to show you in this video. This is free again. You can go to aistudio.google.com and try it out by yourself. And remember, if you like what you see here in Artspace AI, you have an opportunity because this lifetime deal is still available. The prices are really low depending on the number of images you need to generate and you even have an unlimited plan here and this is a one-time fee. Link is in the description and you can even watch my previous videos about Artspace AI. You find the links in the description or even clicking here. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching this Gemini 2.0 video and I'll see you soon in the next one.